Good morning. It is just, I've uh, just gotten light outside. My other camera was out filming the uh, sunrise. So that should make a really nice uh, intro to this video. I'm just finishing up my two weeks off. It was pretty hard to get my head out of making videos. The first couple of days, I just kept catching myself over and over thinking about the next video and running scripts through my head and just like, it's uh yeah, so finally I switched out of that and it was really good for me to just uh, focus on some other stuff and um, I didn't get as much done as I'd hoped, of course, that's kind of like a given. Uh, but I still have a lot of problems with my health and energy levels. Uh, it's funny because I have a really good baseline health, probably better than average for my age, I'm, I'm sure. And I'm highly functional when I'm functional, but then boom, I'll just I'll just get slammed. Like yesterday was a complete loss. You know, I felt sick and exhausted all day long um, and just had to just sit around all day, barely did anything. And that happens to me all the time. And this is related to me having gotten Lyme disease 19 years ago. Uh, I've never been the same since. I've been trying to solve this problem that whole time. So, you know, it's like the hardest problem I've ever had to solve. I've made a lot of progress, but I'm still left with these kind of like autoimmune problems where suddenly my immune system just goes nuts and I feel terrible. And um, anyway, I have some ideas on where to go with that, but you know, it always creates a lot of downtime, which is relevant to my next point, which is that I'm gonna stop producing videos on a schedule because uh, for the way I, who I am and the way I live, it's totally retarded. Life on a homestead is constantly variable and priorities are constantly shifting. Like anyone who does it will tell you that. You're just kind of like living by the seasons and there's always little emergencies that happen and you start one thing and since you're doing everything yourself pretty much, you think, you know, you're gonna finish it in this amount of time but it takes three times as long and then this other thing has to be done so you have to just kind of like cut bait and go do the other thing. And then there's the weather. You know, you're constantly adapting to the weather. So I'll find myself sitting inside on a rare sunny day in the winter time, like editing videos all day just to get it up on a schedule to have like, say a Saturday video, Saturday it rains or snows. And I'm like, damn, you know, I lost that day. For all those reasons, it's just, it's just totally doesn't make any sense to do a schedule. And it's been challenging to try to keep a schedule. And also I feel like sometimes I'm rushing to get something out and I'll just like produce some quick content or what I consider quick uh, content, maybe not exactly what I want to make and get that out instead of making what I actually want to make and taking the time to make things that I, uh, I like. On the other hand, I'm also going to try to do some informal videos. So just quick stuff that's really relevant that I could maybe just, uh, grab a couple of props and, and I talk about real quick. That's all I wanted to say this morning really is um, I'm not going to hold a schedule anymore. So it'll just have to be a surprise. You know, I like holding a schedule and I know a lot of other people like it, but it just, it just doesn't really work. So yeah, that's it. I don't want to waste your time here. I got stuff to do. I'm sure you got stuff to do. And uh, my time off was really good. It gave me some perspective and I feel really good about it. And I'm pretty much feeling ready to get back to making videos. I was trying to do two major series this spring, the um, state axemanship kind of series and uh, grafting, like a full on dormant grafting video series. I think I'm gonna prioritize the grafting and just try to get that out because I just sent out Scions. I've been trying to do this series for three years and um, it's really important. Whether I'll pull it off or not, I don't know because I've got my apple breeding project going right now and it's like, you know, it's the zero hour basically to get that done. It's already, they should already be grafted and in the ground right now. And that's the video I'm working on now. I have one half done. It's going to be great. It's uh, just an update on the apple breeding series and grafting the trees and getting them in the ground. So look forward to that soon and probably in a couple of days. All right. Thanks for watching.